Hello, Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Boss Bounty video, and welcome to my review of the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Knee Numb from Return of the Jedi. As you can see in front of you here, I have two card backs. The one on the left is the original release from the TVC 1.0. This was released in 2012. And on the right, we have the new one with the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi logo there. I have reviewed the other figures from his wave. They are on the channel now, if you wanna check those out after this one. And in this video, we are gonna be comparing the two card backs and also the figures as well, because I do have the original version loose. So we do can do a comparison. I can already see the paint apps on the head on this one are ever so slightly different to the original. Uh, they seem to be improved in fact. So first of all, if you do happen to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like down below and let's just check out the differences in the card backs first of all. You can see straight away the one on the right, it's a lot brighter. The image is cleaner than this one. This one almost looks like it's, the contrast just doesn't seem to be correct on this one. It, I don't know, maybe it's overexposed or something, I don't know. But the one on the right to me looks a bit cleaner, looks a bit better than the original anyway. Um, that's pretty much the only difference apart from the fact obviously that you've got the 40th anniversary logo there. They've had to move the 4 plus over to there because it would usually be there where that logo is. And there's the ages 4 and up for that one. On the back of the cards there, you can really see the difference. They're both VC 106. He retains his number, but you can really see the difference in how good the card backs used to be or the backs of the card used to be back then. You actually get some, you know, a lot more of the product, you get some vehicles and everything there. And as you can see also, the original version that I have there is unpunched. Lovely unpunched card there, whereas the new vintage collection figures come factory punched. But that's pretty much it, apart from the blue as well. The blue is ever so slightly different. And also the red of the uh, Return of the Jedi is a lot brighter on this, a sort of more of a crimson red. This one's quite dark. Okay then, so here he is out of the packaging. The new version is the one on the right of your screen and the original version is the one on the left. And immediately the differences that I can see is that his flight suit is a different color red. Not much in it at all, but you can definitely see that. And also the weathering or paint apps on the head are different as well. I think the one on the right is slightly better in my opinion. They have improved it. But what I would say is that they've missed a huge trick with this figure in not painting the inner mouth the right color. That should be a more of a darker brown. If you look at Nee Num in the film and on the card back or anywhere really, he definitely has that sort of darker inner lip, if you like. And they just haven't done it on the original figure and they haven't done it on the new one. And I think if they were gonna do a new figure or at least re-release this figure and they have changed the paint apps ever so slightly on the face, then why not paint that sort of lip? Very, very strange. Um, they've missed a trick in my opinion, they should have done that. Of course, this figure does have other faults as well, namely the height of the figure. We'll get onto the articulation in, in a second because obviously it's an older figure. It's, you know, the articulation isn't gonna be as good as some of the new figures that we're getting. But it's, his height in general is pretty off, basically. He is not this short in the film. I will just put Bosk up against him and you can really see I mean, that size difference is stark, in my opinion. Neen Num is definitely not that small, and you can really see it up against this figure. And in fact, you'd probably say that they're not even the same scale figures, really, are they? But they are. They are both 3.75 inch figures, vintage collection figures, and unfortunately, they just got the scaling of Neen Num too small. Um, we are gonna take away this one now because there isn't really much point seeing this guy. The weapons and everything are made of pretty much the same plastic. He comes with a side blaster, which I've got in his holster at the moment, and this uh, like larger rifle here, which is just all black plastic, exactly the same as the original release. Um, I'd say that it might be a bit bendier than the other one, but there's hardly anything in it. And this is nowhere near as bendy as the uh, blasters that you would get with like a clone trooper or something. It's, it's a sturdier plastic. All right then, and as always, let's get a nice close up look at the figure's head. And as you can see, it's a really nice sculpt. There's nothing wrong with the sculpt. He's got that sort of uh, skull cap on that uh, pilots have underneath the helmet. And yeah, it's just the mouth. The mouth is not the same color as the rest of his face. And they should have painted that. That is the only thing. And I think that was a complaint with the original figure and it's still a complaint now. They should have sorted that out. And unfortunately they haven't. But the weathering and detail and sort of paint apps on the, on the face, the rest of the face look pretty good. It does bring out the detail of the figure. 
As we go down there, he's got his sort of like uh, Han Solo style vest on there. And there's his legs and he's got those things around his boots, which have got a bit of weathering on them as well. And you've got that little buckle on each as well, which is, you know, a nice bit of paint apps with the silver buckle on his belt. There's the blaster. Fits nicely in the holster. That's not going anywhere. In terms of articulation, the head is on a ball, so you haven't got a double barbell or anything like that, but you still get, you know, decent amount of uh, range on there. He has the ball hinged shoulders and elbows, unfortunately only swivel at the wrists, and it's at the top of the glove. He has these swivel hips, so no, uh, not even ball hinges on the hips. He does have the knees, and he has a hinge on the ankle, which is actually hidden underneath that part of the boot there. Uh, but of course not rocker ankles or anything like that so you know obviously it's, it's a reissued figure you're not going to get anything new in terms of the articulation but as i say the big fault there is his height still a short figure and the fact they haven't painted that which that's the most disappointing thing for me because uh, obviously it just doesn't make it screen accurate all right then guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this is just a quick review today because it is a reissued figure we've seen him before you've probably all got him in your collections let me know if you're going to be getting the 40th anniversary version and uh, you know whether you're a collector of variant cards and what have you let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and thank you to my patreon supporters and channel members and we'll see you on the next one